Hello everybody, this is Jeffrey Ryman from the Center for Excellence in Teaching. This brief tutorial will demonstrate to you how to add a concourse syllabus to your Brightspace course shell. Now, these syllabi will only be available from the summer semester on. So if you're working in a sandbox or in a prior semester in Brightspace, it will not be available to you. So um, let's get going. Special thanks to Neil Brownlee for allowing me to use his empty course shell for AC 231. Uh, and I am going to use this to demonstrate the actual process, which is quite simple. It's got a little hook in there that you have to pay attention to. So thus we do it this way. So I recommend for all faculty building courses, always go to the content view first and then click add a module. And this module is called course information. As a, re a reminder, modules are the same thing as folders, except when you click on it and you hit return, it automatically is created. There you can manage a description and add dates and restrictions if you want. Uh, or, in fact, you could hide the, uh, the entire module just by clicking on this eyeball. So let's get started. Um, all you need to do is go to Existing Activities. Now, this menu contains many things that you will want to use. For example, Google Drive, uh, Padlet. Uh, if you use OneDrive, if you want to create um, a quiz or any um, of the other tools on the menu, including Cengage, it's available to you here. But Concourse requires you to click one more time on External Learning Tools. And there you'll see a menu that includes many things like Quickly Attendance, McGraw-Hill, Hawks Learning, uh, and the list will continue to grow as we adopt more and more applications. Here you go. Click on Concourse. It automatically creates the link. And the only thing I want to point out is no matter what you do, it's always going to say Concourse. What I recommend you do is click on the Chevron, Edit Properties in Place, click on it, and rename it. So I would suggest you might want to call it something unique like course syllabus ac 231 ol1 and let's call it summer 23 once you do that hit return and it has now been updated the link is not affected by retitling it. So if I go over to this module I created and click on it, it will now activate the link. I would like to point out that this module currently is hidden from student view. And I really don't know why you would hide a syllabus unless it's not ready yet. So now we're ready to test it. You simply click on it and a little yellow screen will flash by and then your syllabus will show. At this point, you simply click on edit and you can begin to work on the things that you have access to edit. So um, it's important that you go through this carefully and make sure it reflects, you know, exactly what you want to say, what your department recommends and so on. Once you are done, you simply click View to see how it looks. If I go back into Brightspace and I want to see the student view, uh, it's a little different for me because I'm an administrator, but you can click one time on your name and go to student view. I'm just going to take a few extra clicks to do that. Student, non-cascading. And now I'm seeing the course precisely the way the students will see it. And when they click on this module, it takes them right to the course syllabus. And that's all there is to it. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at the CET and or 
within your department, there are often people who advocate for this stuff. So feel free to uh, speak with your colleagues as well. I hope this helps, and I look forward to sharing more new tools with you as they become available. Thank you.